We have a shower frame and some plumbing. Woohoo! So it's finally my turn to be down here in Austin to work on brisket. I've missed it, haven't seen it since, since we bought it. Uh, I was really excited to get down here and start working on it, but ever since I've been here, it's just been pouring down raining. It's now day two and rained pretty much all day yesterday. It's about almost 10 o'clock now on day two and, and uh, it's still raining. So there was a little bit of a break yesterday, but it's kind of a bummer. All we've really done is gone to to the store and get get a few things a bunch of wood and and uh home depot of course can't can't come down without going to home depot so kind of a bummer but we'll get going here soon hopefully once the rain passes so the main projects that we're working on while i'm here is to get start building out the shower and some of the other cabinets uh, on day one yesterday uh, didn't get a whole lot done because of the rain but we went to the lumber store and bought some uh maple and birch plywood we bought this because it's nice and strong we bought a few different thickness a three quarter inch half inch and a quarter inch um, that we'll use for uh, the shower and the some of the other cabinets so uh, we bought them because they look nice they're very strong um, and they'll be great for for those applications so the second major project we were looking to get done this trip uh, or get started was to install the heat so heater underneath the passenger seat most people that we've noticed like to put that in uh, that area because it's just nice and convenient it's an open box and just an open space to put um, but we started to take the passenger seat off and we noticed that the 19 floor underneath the seat is completely different from previous versions um, it's not as level it's more sloped up towards the front and also we think it has like a double wall so um, when you drill down uh, it doesn't uh, you won't immediately see uh, the intake and the exhaust out the bottom so running into a bit of complication there um, so we're gonna have to probably hold off on that until another trip to figure out where it's gonna go and how we're gonna implement that in the van so the weather cleared and we finally have some action very exciting so what we've done is we came in took a brought in a piece of plywood uh, and made a template for the bathroom walls is what we're working on so this was a little more out here like that uh, because it was square and so we took measurements in here all along the way at like six inch six inch increments and then took it inside and, and uh, cut a little bit off of it at a time took a few uh, back and forth tries but this template fits really nice all along the way as you can see um, so we took this template back into the garage and we had a three quarter inch plywood which is going to be our walls uh, it was a big nice square rectangle cut it right down the middle laid the template on top of here uh, cut some off the top to the proper height and then cut it along that curve we had for uh, it's the curve of the wall so very exciting that we finally got some work done so it's been pretty boring just waiting around, waiting for the rain to pass, but we should be in the clear until uh, Thursday when I leave. So uh, taking a little break now and then we'll come back out and, and get, get going again. So. Poking out of our frame of our bathroom here. This was the major, major dealio we got done today so this is going to slide up against the wall obviously and that's going to be our bathroom and shower super cool um just giving it like a little test run here so the toilet will be right here at my feet it's going to be pretty tight in here should be able to stand should be able to rinse off and sing my songs in the shower and all that so very cool that we got that done uh, another piece we got done or got started on was the wall for the uh, uh, side of this closet here. So this will be right here and we'll have some little shelves here. Laundry basket, we'll keep a suitcase here. And this will be where we'll keep some of our backpacking stuff and um, a couple other little things. And then the plumbing will go right in here, which will start on tomorrow. So much more productive day than than the last day yesterday where we 
didn't get hardly anything done just getting some supplies and waiting out the rain so pretty big day and like I said tomorrow we'll get going on the, uh, some of the plumbing and keep working on that closet on the other side and then later on in the week we will start messing with the building the dresser out right here so very exciting and like it's so cool to like see stuff like taking shape man like you can really just you can just start visually like seeing it come together it just gets me gets me pumped so <laughs> it's pretty cool Whew, been a long day so at first glance it doesn't look like we've gotten a lot done but uh, we had this bathroom cabinet going yesterday and then today we were solely working on this closet area going on right here so this whole thing is one unit and it's gonna slide off into this corner more uh, this is uh, some storage here uh, laundry and then a suitcase will go here our dog crate will go right in here and then some backpacks and some other things as much as we can shove in there so um, cut out all this wood put in like the supports for it things like that got the back on it all that jazz so been a long day uh, tomorrow we're looking to hopefully get to the plumbing we thought we could get to it today but it's looking like it's gonna be more tomorrow um, got to get the insulation in on the back of it and um, keep things rolling so uh, there's just lots of moving parts all along the way on each step so um, we're keeping it going and we're calling it a day today and then we'll be back at it bright and early tomorrow so see you then another full day of the van build is in the books at first glance it doesn't look like a lot but it took took us all day so let me show you what we did got that drain drilled in through the bottom there we've got this white tube is the exhaust for the composting toilet this is the hot and cold for the shower and then they come down around here and they go out here well it comes up this way um, and then that white one is the drain from the kitchen sink so it goes it's gonna go all the way down and around here to the sink it's right here by the door the shower pan fits in nice and snug there and the water lines are running under that lip there so we're gonna end this vlog right here I've still got two more days to go Wednesday and Thursday um, where I'll continue we will continue to work on uh, the finishing touches on this get everything right and squared and get everything done and get it pushed back in its final place and uh, so hopefully we can get all that done before I leave um, I'll also be getting a lot more of the insulation in there down at the bottom and then uh, Catherine will pick up where I left off when she comes in a couple weeks so it's been very productive I'm proud of myself proud of us for how much we've gotten done and uh, it's been a learning experience but it's been fun so it's getting exciting we have like an actual structure in the van now so pretty cool I'm excited I can like I can start to start to feel it and taste it so and, and see it so very cool sitting on the toilet sitting on the toilet sitting on the toilet sitting on the toilet <laughs>